G'day teacher geeks. I love competition in the classroom, especially at the start of a lesson when we're doing some kind of recap, you know, consolidation game. Kahoot is so popular and effective because it taps into the competition. They do these little wee subtle tricks in there that get the students hooked in and engaged. Now, I like to provide some sort of incentive, some sort of reward uh, for, you know, if ever I'm having a competition. And I'm always thinking of different ideas. Sometimes uh, it might be like baking. Baking goods is a classic one I've used for my students. Uh, cinnamon rolls, I've, got a, I've shown you a video uh, in my other videos, my recipe, my terrible attempt at making cinnamon rolls. But something not like that big for something major is a, is a fun motivator. Uh, making smaller things like biscuits or cookies. I find that can help me create a relationship, a rapport. It shows I'm actually doing something for my students. Plus, I like cooking for people. But I'm trying to think of different ways, you know, that to, to have incentives. And I thought about cash prizes. Now, a little bit different. I'm not giving, you know, money. Here's ten dollars. Here's five dollars to the winner. Actually, my summer school recently. I, this is what I did. Their reward was me making a donation to a charity in the name of the students. So not really a cash prize, I suppose, but it's still me giving money to a charity. Uh, that, that the students chose. So I had a little competition. I said, right, if you win, I will give $100 to a charity that you get to choose. Now, I this kind of worked. It was pretty engaging. Uh, I Actually, the students never got around to choosing uh, a uh, charity. So I gave some money to the um, F uh, UNICEF uh, appeal for the Afghani refugees. And I usually tend to give to children. And I usually tend to give to UNICEF because I like them. Uh, and... So yeah, I, I did this and I felt like this was kind of effective because it, I think it's good role modeling, showing, you know, giving money to charity. It's really different uh, and it shows I'm pretty invested in my students. Now, if there's one thing I like to talk about just as much, if not more than teaching, it's money and personal finance and how to manage money. I've given seminars and lectures at my school to teachers that are interested in investing in the stock market or un, you know, understanding personal finance or how to invest. A lot of teachers are scared by it. If you're interested, I'd be more than happy to make videos here talking about managing money and how I do it. But just on the note of the charity, what I do is uh, I have a charity account, a separate bank account, which is just for charities. So a certain percentage of anything I earn goes straight into that account. And so anytime there's a worthwhile cause or an appeal comes up, then I donate money out of that account. So it never feels like I'm spending money. I don't feel like it's a burden on me. I know that uh, that's what that account is there for. And so that's what I used um, for this incentive for my students. So actually, they never got around to choosing their the charity. I'm not sure if they thought I was serious or not. So I gave $100 to UNICEF for, their, uh, for the recent uh, Afghani children appeal and because of what's happening there at the moment. But I feel like this is a good thing to do in class. I'm going to do it again. Might not do it all the time, but once or twice a year maybe. This is money I would give away to charity anyway. I feel like this is setting a good example for students, not only about uh, personal finance and how to manage money, but also on giving to charity and you know um, giving to those less fortunate. And it just does add something different into the classroom. So that's what I did. It was a different idea that I had just kind of on a whim. I was trying to engage, summer school was a very hard, task to try to engage students so I was you know trying to um, I and I had a bag of chocolates and goodies and snacks but I don't always like giving you know the, the things that kind of incentivize students right chocolate and chips and co cookies and snacks I don't feel like that's setting a great example because you know you're giving away junk food and whatever time of day you got this lesson you know you're giving away chocolate at 10 a.m. Um, I don't think you're setting up your colleagues for, for, for success later in the day when the kids start to crash so that's why I just had this different idea of uh, giving money to charity in their name and they get to choose which charity it is. Anyway, a little idea I thought I'd share. Might be something if you're a charitable, per charitable person anyway um, and you like to give money to charity, something you might want to do. All right, cheers.